how Hollywood ties the knot. I love you with all of my heart. I'm truly marrying my best friend. He is the gentle calm to my wild storm. An exclusive invitation to Paula Abdul's wedding and Celine Dion, Holly Robinson, Kenny G, and other couples share the most important days of their lives, from proposal to I do. You're doing this real spiritual thing that you want to experience. We vowed that we would um, enjoy that moment and connect. Every wedding day is a blend of family traditions and childhood fantasies. And every style decision, a window into each couple's unique romance, from the flowers to the food, the cake, and the dress. I wanted that to be white, big, huge, magic. But no matter how much a couple dreams, designs, and plans, some of the best moments are spontaneous. I actually crashed this wedding. Plus, the wedding that no one could crash. JFK Jr. chose to say his vows on remote Cumberland Island. Tonight, we'll meet the keeper of those secrets. When they asked her what was going to be her full name, when she said Carolyn DeFette Kennedy, the woman just looked up and said, Oh, my God, now I know what this is all about, honey. I promise I won't tell a soul. Join us as we retrace the wedding day footsteps of John and Carolyn Bissett Kennedy. It's a long way from where his parents were married as the whole world watched. Next on Celebrity Weddings in Style. Hi, I'm Christy Brinkley. Every bride wants to be a star on her wedding day. And that's equally true for the people who are stars before they walk down the aisle. But what's most important to every bride and groom are the private moments and the personal choices they make on the day they say, I do. Some of our favorite celebrities invited InStyle magazine to attend their weddings. And now Lifetime Television and the editors of InStyle invite you to share those moments, seen through the bride and groom's very own private wedding videos. I'm a newlywed, too, and I'll show you some of my wedding videos later on in the show. But let's just say I know a thing or two or three or four about weddings and how brides dream about their big day. Singer Celine Dion's Christmas time wedding went beyond big. It may well have been the grandest of them all. As Paula Abdul marries the love of her life. I can honestly say in the past nine months, it's been love, love, and stronger love every day. Also, it was 43 years ago, the wedding of JFK and Jacqueline Bouvier. Now is a Camelot revisited as JFK Jr. marries Carolyn Bissett. And just ahead, actress Holly Robinson gets the surprise of a lifetime when Celebrity Weddings in Style returns. A return to Celebrity Weddings in Style. Peter Cook and I were married on the last day of summer. We only had three weeks to plan the wedding. Eagles quarterback Rodney Pete. But when Holly and Rodney met at an L.A. jazz club, it wasn't exactly love. Asked Cowie to help her create a fall foliage theme for her October wedding. Well, both Brad and I did not want a traditional white wedding, and we wanted to incorporate warm colors and bring in the autumn colors. Wedding planners will usually work with floral designers to help bring their visions to reality. For Paula's wedding, Cowie called on Walter Hubert, who used the autumn tones to create the huppah, a traditional Jewish canopy signifying the sanctity of the home. It took about 10,000 blossoms to cover that puppet. So we were using deep oranges and siennas, very rich autumn colors. So we used the white flowers on the top and came in behind with the sensation rose, which is a very warm brandy color. East Coast master wedding planner Robert Isabel doesn't need a floral designer. He is one himself. In planning some of society's more memorable weddings, including Carolyn Kennedy and Ed Schlossberg's, Maria Shriver and Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown, he's been known to buy up an entire country's production of a single bloom. Suppliers are not... Royal family gets married 90s style. While Jack and Jackie chose pomp and circumstance, John and Carolyn opted for candlelit intimacy in a remote island church. Plus, the stories behind the cakes of Donald and Marla Trump, Jim Carrey and Lauren Holly, and Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. And next, as Kenny G prepares to marry, meet the woman who inspired one of the most beautiful wedding songs of all time when Celebrity Weddings in Style returns.
weddings, from Christy Brinkley's elegant Hamptons dinner party to Paula Abdul's fairy tale come true. You'll meet famous couples on the verge of merging and join leading designers, florists, and wedding planners as they help you create your own perfect wedding. Picture this month's celebrity weddings issue of In Style magazine. Also this month, you'll dine with Tom and Nicole and dish with Rosie. Celebrity Weddings in February's In Style magazine. Get in style today. I'm Christy Brinkley. Now we return to Celebrity Weddings in Style. I wanted my wedding reception to feel of people, but that didn't stop Paula Abdul's butterflies as the big moment approaches. I was calm up until about 3 o'clock. Then I started getting a little nervous. Plus, how Mariah Carey, China Phillips, and Paula Abdul created their dream wedding dresses. And just ahead, the story of John F. Kennedy Jr. and Carolyn Bissett's secret wedding on a windswept Georgia island when Celebrity Weddings in Style returns. Break the rules. You got to remember. Choreographer and singer Paula Abdul wanted something stylish, something glamorous, and something unique. I didn't want to have a white dress. I didn't want to Brad and I both didn't want to have a white wedding. Paula turned to two of her favorite designers, Mark Badgley and James Mishka, whose trademark is their sleek, body-skimming evening wear. So we did something that was very glamorous, very close to the body. The color of the gown was a blush color that had dyed to match rice pearls and crystal that was all encrusted over the medallion pattern. The dress was a perfect expression of Paula's personality and set the tone for a wedding that gave a fresh new look to time-honored traditions as you'll experience in a minute when you're invited to join Paula Abdul and her fiancé Brad Beckerman on the occasion of their wedding, when Celebrity Weddings in Style returns. Now we return to Celebrity Weddings in Style. As I walk down the aisle with my... But some relationships seem to fit right from the beginning. On their second date, Brad Beckerman told Paula Abdul that a psychic had predicted he would marry a woman named Julie, and Paula, whose middle name is Julie, confided that her psychic had predicted she would fall in love with a man whose initials were BB, and that it would happen in February 1996, which was exactly when they met. They've been together ever since, and Brad is so sure he's found his soulmate that he inscribed Paula's engagement ring with the letters L-O-M-L, -L, short for love of my life. I can't believe I'm getting married tomorrow. I, could, I wish I could snap my fingers and be at the ceremony already. Hey, baby! Oh, my God. Hi, Nancy. You are drop-dead gorgeous. You are drop-dead gorgeous. You are drop-dead gorgeous. Thank God today is here. It's hard for clothing designer Brad Beckerman to believe his romance began with a casual comment at a dinner party when someone asked him to describe his ideal woman. Short. Short. I didn't say short. I said <laughs> petite. He said petite. petite. <laughs> Dark hair, right? Yeah, beautiful eyes, great personality, and I'm going on and on and on, and they're like, well, like who? And I went, Paul Abdul. And the wife of, of the couple he was with says, I work out with her at the gym. And I was like, yeah, right, you're going to fix me up with Paul Abdul, yeah. They had a long phone conversation and then a blind date. By the end of that enchanted evening, both knew this was the real thing. It's like a fairy tale. I can honestly say in the past nine months, it's been love, love, and stronger love every day. The couple decided on a traditional Jewish wedding, but they wanted it to have a flair all its own. In keeping with the October date, Paula chose an autumn palette. The Beverly Hills Four Seasons Hotel was transformed using earth and russet tones and richly colored leaves. Badgley Mishka's beaded lace gown was designed to create a bright contrast against the darker backdrop. But even with everything looking perfectly perfect, the bride couldn't escape last minute jitters. I was calm up until about three o'clock. And then I started getting a little nervous. While Paula was putting on the finishing touches, Brad was beside himself with anticipation. He couldn't resist showing us the surprise he had in store for his beautiful bride. Well, they're both diamond wedding bands. One, they're all pave diamonds all the way around, and she thinks she's getting one. Uh -huh. But what she's going to do is she's going to slip this on, her diamond engagement band, and then this over it. With a fateful moment nearly at hand, Brad, who once said that he had no business marrying a dancer because of his own two left feet, looked poised and certainly polished in his Jean Valdi tux 
as he and Paula signed the ketubah, the Jewish wedding contract. Get married, come on! <laughs> Under the leafy canopy, 160 good friends gathered for the ceremony, along with one very recognizable party crasher. I actually crashed this wedding. Here's the story, 6 a.m., half asleep, walk downstairs, Four Seasons Hotel, and who do I see? Paula Abdul. So I'm like, Akadikadika, what are you doing here? She's like, I'm getting married. I said, when? She said, tonight. I said, are you kidding? She said, why don't you come? An artful tone was set at the beginning of the ceremony when dancers performed a romantic pas de deux, choreographed for the bride. And then came Paula's entrance and procession, a sight Brad will never forget. When I saw her walk down, my heart was racing. I, I saw her, she just takes my breath away. After the blessing, after Brad slipped the two dazzling rings onto Paula's finger, the couple repeated vows they wrote for each other. You are my best friend, and I marry you and give you all my unconditional love as long as we are both on this earth. I worship the ground you walk on, and I for always will love, cherish, and respect you. Brad, I've been in love with you from the moment we met. You simply are my best of times. I love you with all of my heart, and I want you to know throughout the years, you will always have my hand to hold. I love you. Brad and Paula, you are now husband and wife in the sight of God. We'd like to introduce you at this time, Mr. and Mrs. Brad Beckerman. It was a night of congratulations and well-wishing. A chance for Paula and Brad to celebrate with good friends, including Rod Stewart and his wife, Rachel Hunter, and Brandy and Wanye Morris of Boys to Men. The wedding may have conjured up New England in the fall, but the health-conscious couple wanted the dinner to be more along the lines of California spa cuisine. Then came the magnificent chocolate and buttercream wedding cake covered with fall roses and a frosting that Brad could not resist. Then Paula and Brad led their guests in the inevitable wedding ritual, hoping their good fortune might rub off on their friends. We would love to thank all of you for coming here tonight and sharing such a wonderful, wonderful day to start the rest of our lives together. And yeah. yeah! We've had so much fun and we hope that you have too. As they danced into the evening, the couple looked as if they'd known each other forever. Neither could have imagined a blind date eight months earlier could have led to an unforgettable night like this. Well, that's our show. We'd like to thank all the couples for sharing their wedding moments with us. If you're planning a wedding, we hope you were inspired by some of the creative choices you saw tonight. And we wish you every happiness on your own special day. I'm Christy Brinkley. Thanks for watching.